It's time to head back to the KDTX Broadcast Center at Kyle Field for more Aggie Game Day. You are looking at marching inside Kyle Field as we count it down. 50 minutes to kick off between Texas a and and Texas Tech in the Big 12 Conference opener. And you know one thing about when Texas Tech comes to town, it brings up the uh, blood pressure in just about everybody. And I, I'm guessing that, you know, they say it's an in-state rivalry, but I think Texas Tech is what more, New Mexico or Oklahoma? Do we even count them as Texas? <laughs> Do we even count them as a state? <laughs> <laughs> Are we thinking territory, nation? I don't know. Fans on both sides, though, certainly have a lot of pride in their schools. And we have one gentleman who's not bashful about showing his Aggie pride. Yeah, we've talked about how players and coaches will try and take it to the ne next level because this is conference play. Well, we imagine Blake Fisher will take it to another level as well in this week's edition of Blake's Takes. Blake's Takes is presented by Watson Motors. Hey guys, Blake Fisher here for the first conference edition of Blake's Takes. Now I am excited today, not because we're 4-0, not because it's the conference opener, but it's the opponent. The classless clowns are here. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, the short bus from Lubbock has arrived, and the Texas Tech Red Raiders are here in force. Now, before we start today, I want to read a quote quickly from the New York Times Magazine, December 4th of last year. M Mike Leach was talking about our very own Corps cadets, said, how come they pretend that they're soldiers, he asked. The thing is, they're not actually in the military. I ought to have Mike's pirate school. Well, you know what? I couldn't agree more, and in fact, I'm going to start the College Station chapter of the Mike's Pirate School right here today. <laughs> Arr, guns up. So, you know, a lot of people this week have been talking smack about Texas Tech. They're like, Blake, Tech sucks. I hate Tech. Their coach is a moron. Well, you know what? I couldn't agree more. But what I'd like to do is read to you the top five reasons to like Texas Tech. It used to be top ten, but I, I can't afford ten, so I just have five. The first one is... First and foremost is Lubbock, okay? I mean, Lubbock, what a beautiful city. It's generally known as the Paris of the Llano Estacado, a cultural center for at least three miles in every direction. But seriously, I mean, Tech is kind of like Timbuktu with good-looking women. But, you know, speaking of the uh, young ladies at Texas Tech, I s spend a lot of time on college campuses. And, you know, when I'm at A&M and at Texas, you know, I I'm getting older and I feel older every day. I feel like an old man. But when I'm at Tech, I feel like a dirty old man. Moving on to number four is cowbells. I mean... I mean, it's like an old Raycom sports game, you know, but you know what the, wor what the world needs now, well, what we need now is more cowbell. But seriously, the next one, number three, is excuses. Because I will tell you, if you attend Texas Tech or root for Texas Tech, you better darn well have some excuses. It's kind of like growing up liking professional wrestling, you know. You can do it, but you better have something to explain to some people, you know. And then the next one, number two, is head coach Mike Leach. Your friend, my friend, our special friend. Here's the imitation of him at his press conference this week. He's like, oh, yeah, I can't, oh, yeah, where's my drink? I don't know, what's going on here? Ah. I mean, it's crazy. The guy is just like locker room fodder. And then the last one, of course, you know, some people have the fight in Texas Aggie band, some the Sooner Schooner. At Texas Tech, they have Mexican bread products. That's right, tortillas. And in true Blake's Tech fashion, we have them with a black ATM on them. We're throwing them all over the place. And I tell you what, John, you know what? There's only one thing left to say. Gigs up, guns down, beat the hell out of Texas Tech. Atta boy, Blake. <laughs> <laughs> there you have Blake's takes. At some point, did I hear hey, him I'm say, hungry. but Can seriously, I have one of those? Folks? I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't eaten anything today. Any salsa with those? No, no, no. no just you just, just keep the block ATM. Just keep Not enough room in the props bag I will for leave the salsa. The, I will leave the Raycom Sports tumbler for y'all. Thank you so much. <laughs> Blake's takes the verbal equivalent of a face mask right in oh. the middle of the back. Nice toss, by the way. Thank you very much. Which brings us to this week's edition of What's That For? Some co-eds want to know what some of the gear football players wear is actually used for during the game and how it protects. <laughs> 